Final Fantasy VII Remake tutorial how to speed run from a new game from scratch easy mode first thing you need to start is a new game from scratch no it's just in a trophy and the next bit you want to run past those ones get past the opening and get the items easy way of doing it now you take out these guys elevator you can hit those boxes while you're waiting you might get a potion or two now I should set all this before I started the game now you take those out get the item Skip a full motion video and open the door. There are some things that they take removed, like the removing of uh, Jesse from the demo. A bar it is the best using the uh, gun on him to get these in. Now you want to watch the timing with the lasers here. Yeah? Get a few more items. This one is quite easy. Use magic and then punish a mode. Hit a few boxes, get a few items here. Run past those, get down to the ladder. And with the guard scorpion, you have, you have to use magic. And limit breaks, easiest way of going. for the stairs now the next bit you gotta fight these two off head for the stairs now you're gonna run up Jesse make your way back to the entrance the bar it now you've got to take these ones out after these ones you're just gonna run straight up to the elevator One want is that they keep pushing cloud back on that one. Now there's a treasure box by here. Two potions. Now we're going to head out and we're going to pick up a few boxes. Skip the tutorial there. Make your way to the ladder. Collapse now when you get Sephir off. stairs now when you get on the rooftop get a few items here and you want to head towards Ares now these you gotta fight now I'm gonna fight this area because there's a material you and another one by you plaza you gotta take these out because otherwise you will not access the ladder it will block you Now from you, you just run through everything. Pick up a few items and you just run through you. Keep running. Now this fight you gotta fight. Use magic on the ones with the shield. Right gear. Now for the train. There's a material you can pick up here. I was on the second one. And this is you go head towards Jesse um seven M N. Talk to Marlene. 
for the test. Um, Tifa. Stargazer Heights. Rest. Skip film motion video sequences. There's not going to be any spoilers in this because I've taken all the film motion video sequences out by skipping them. Now you head back to Seven Heaven. Now you gotta do a pick up all the money. And Gary comes here, but I think you're better off doing it later. The best ones to pick up are Heal and Lightning. But you can pick those up later on anyway, so it's not worth spending the money biggest nightmare you're gonna have is weapon upgrade when and when not to if you can talk to that guy now you got you go up the top talk to Biggs and Wedge they show you how to upgrade your weapon by going to skip through that it's like them there you're not going to bother with his basic equipment now you need to head you take all these quickly now there's item in the cave that you need which is a material I don't know what it is now you head back and for Tiffa now you get your sword now. This is the best one because it's got three slots on it. Talk to this guy. Now you can talk to this guy now. And you must equip that materia to proceed. Can you equip in the attack gauge up I need to work on the um, just wait a while until the limit break gets up and then scan them just two we can get you quite easy and you go back to the quest save you a bit of time mucking around a session Right, you got that. Now we go back and follow Tifa to the bar. Get any more items you need now. I'm gonna have to work with the menu with this. If I do it again, I think I can do it in a, under 12 hours. Now you gotta follow this guy and Notice the bench is there, you can heal yourself there. And there's a vending machine. And you head back to Seven Heaven. And Tifa gives you notice you can't proceed with the game any further. Uh, you want to go to the dark game and exit it and you want to go to the jukebox this will trigger the next event with Tifa go ahead out go back to Stargiver Hill Hill now we've got to take these guys out before we go in there it's quite easy Have a trophy. Stargazer Heights. To Jesse. Now head towards the train station. Now I don't know whether by skipping this, whether it saves time or you lose leveling up. I would have to try this again. Because this probably takes about seven minutes estimated 
can do it if you want to. It's part of the story or not. A rush, the new character. I got all these and then you get rush. So you gotta get the this mission is to get explosive for the reactor two explosion. Watch out for the lightning with him. Cause that will slow you down. Now you got the summer material equip it. For the gate you skip the full motion video and I'm gonna go to Jesse's house. And go by the side of the window and just wait. Skip. I'll go all the back way. Now you have to have the key card. Level up all your weapons before doing the mission. Skip a full motion video so you can see the others. The one by you. Now follow Biggs and Wedge. Don't go too far. Because this would trigger. Same here and then follow them. Skip a full motion video sequence here. Now save you before the boss fight. There's a full motion video sequence here, skip it. Now you're ready for the boss fight. These are quite easy, follow part and you go left, round. Take the one, one with the fire gear with magic and just use the finisher mode. Dogs are quite easy, they just follow back and forth, so just stay in one place. These are gonna take out. This magic. And punish them out. Now for Rosh. Magic and punish them out easy. I've head out over the trash can. Skip for me. No, this with the wagon. There's no motor in it. Now parachute into sector seven. Now, a few items that you can bash. You might be lucky to get a potion or two. Now just follow wedge. Don't bother talking to him, I made a mistake there. I'll go back to Jesse's house. Go back to Stargazer house. You can get any items you need here. Relax now. Fight these using Punisher mode and let me breaks. I should have really done this by the train station. But it's going to be men winning, it's going to be your biggest nightmare with speedrunning this game. Another trophy. I head for the train station. Don't talk to him, I made a mistake there. 
of a trophy. He started the bombing mission. There was a material there on the bench. A mistake I made there, I shouldn't have talked about it. Take these guys out. Skip the full motion video sequence. Now this is where it becomes run down the track as much as possible. Don't engage them. Skip that full motion video and just run down. Don't bother going to the other side with Tifa. You can just go to the right hand side. Save yourself a few seconds there. Now you want to go to the left hand side of the tracks. Up here. Now with these you gotta take them out to access the next bit. These are compulsory. Now you gotta take that level boss out. But yeah. Use magic and punish him out. Get an item this. Now with this one just go past and then they all come together and just take them out. Now, for your first boss, a fight by you, you gotta do. I take these out. Because it won't allow you up the stairs. So open that gate. Now there is a bench here to heal yourself. Use it. Level up if you need to. This is going to be the men menu. Is going to be your biggest make or break on this game. I'm going to have to strip the material down to the bare minimum. So this is a level boss. Use magic, punisher mode, and a summon. Because someone will do damage for you, so you have five, uh, four people fighting the same monster. That's our boss then. I use a left. Now this is where it's going to get fun. There you go, switch off four lights. Now unfortunately I found that you cannot cheat. You gotta go to the command center. You gotta do this and you gotta pull a lever here. Now this is the bit you gotta be careful. There's the first one. Now you gotta go. Head for steps heading down on your left hand side and you're looking on the view for the left hand going up and you want to keep look going towards the fans go up there's a material there chalkboard one for the next light you need to go up switch on I need to head back to the control panel move that bridge over there you go knock that one off now go down the ladder use this move to move over That ladder. Not the light. You gotta take those out before you can take out the light. Unfortunately, go up, turn off. Head 
back to sort of go over to a H1 to another left here. You you don't have to do this, I don't think. But you get the Chocbo Summon. Easy, just use Punisher mode. Open the door, get the materia. Head back for the big lift. Control panel and then the control panel on the left. Now you've got, these are got to be taken out before you can even try to access that ladder. Punisher mode and magic. Ladder. Now there are shortcuts but I haven't gone into that at all yet. Now this is just easy. But just follow the path. Now with this bit you gotta wander around a bit before Tifa tells you to jump down. Now with this you gotta fight these. There's five there you gotta fight to get down the next ladder. You gotta fight these, five of them. Just use punisher mode on them. We'll set the bomb. There's full motion video the ladder will go up and now you can skip full motion video sequences. Take them out. Now there's a button on your left. Use this skip for motion. Now you gotta take these out. There's a car key on your left hand side. You gotta use it on this one. What you wanna do with the next slot I get the AI CPUs because you can trade them in and you get five hundred gil each, so you get two thousand gil for four of them. Take these guys out, and there's a key card on the right hand side. Now, this one, I think you only get one AI chip. It's another key card, but and they're usually on the right hand side, the AIs. Now, up here, I'm going to slash these. One, gotta get the call key, now that's two. Open the door. Gotta take these out. Now with these, you gotta take them out. Now there is also one by the console, sometimes he stays there. Now this is really going to be tight on you because you're going to be playing this speed run with the seat in your pants. Got to take these cut out. Now with the next one you're just going to run up to the elevator. Now with the storage room you've got two locks here. And be timing with this. This will open the main door if you don't want to get the items. If you want to get the items, you've got to do it about four or five times a year. One, two, three, four. Right, then you got the item. Now there's a ma material there. Now you get all the items here. Now save and heal yourself. Now for the boss fight. Now if you've got HP plus put it on now. 
limit breaks and finisher mode here's some man this makes it a little bit easier because you cannot access him unless you use lightning or something like that See, I'm very close to borderline with cloud this one you just gotta run left and right until you get him you're on the right hand side when he's on the left hand side you know he's done for the church with Aerith so he's going out with Punisher mode Reno the same take out those orbs first and the same with Reno again Don't worry about healing cloud now until I get to the top. Sometimes when you end a chapter it will automatically real heal you. No, it's just the rooftops. Till we reach the train station. You can get some items here, but it's not worth it. Follow her. Now head for the train station, Let's just run past all those. Heal yourself on this bench. Skip a full motion with you with it when you see the uh, chopper. Now you just run down here. And you gotta open that gate there and then you gotta push this box. Run through. You gotta take those out to get access to the ladder up cross now oh yeah gotta take these out open the gate take these guys out now oh, handle there push this crate across up across then you're gonna open that gate for Aerith now you're going to head towards sector 5 and there's house now unfortunately you cannot skip that bit and look at the cloud just running there now we're heading up don't go too far because it will stop you Go just wait for air there Head towards the orphanage. Just stay about by there. And she would go to the teacher. I head for her house. to a room and then head back out get for our baskets pick three of them from you it's just as easy head back to the orphanage and then you're looking for a boy because then you, not this boy another boy 
like a scarf, green Japan scarf. Now we be by you. You can be run down with this boy. That's the boy you want. Green top with a scarf and gingery air or brown air. Equip better equipment now. now. I didn't need to really go into Tifa with that one, it just should be near it. You need to have the attack and defense ones up with this on occasionally with extra slots. Now the mistake I made, I'm going for Shiva here, yeah, I shouldn't have done that, I should have done Shiva in Sector 6 with uh, the, you know, the wall town by close to um, any B and B by. I'm complete. I've lost a year about five minutes. That's about you want. Green scarf, red jumper, and brown hair. Yeah, you gotta do this bit. You gotta attack all the monsters in this section to proceed. To rescue the children, you need to do this. Save the children, follow them. Now, what? Eris just push you out of the way there. Gotta do that one. Go through. Gotta do those. Go through here. Let's give for motion to this boy. Head towards there. Now, if you want to do the job quest, you can, but this is Moogle. Now, if you've got Moogle medals, you can get different stats from him. But I should have done this later on when I return with Barrett and that. Got different stuff for Aerith. Now, we're heading for Aerith's house. Now, you got to take on Rude. Put the stats up. I gotta work with uh, menu in with this when I do it again. Too many material items I never use. Take on road with Punisher mode. And limit breaks. Head to his house. Now when that you see that prompt with Aerith, you can't do any more missions. Now getting out of here, I haven't cracked this correctly. Third time you make it easier on you. Now you need to head towards sector 6 for... There's an item there you need, that's a summon, I don't know where, what is, what material is, whether it's HP plus or what. You need a lot of HP pluses with this. Now you're heading for sector 6. Now with this you've got to take certain ones out. You've got to take these ones out to get access to the ladder. I need to work with the uh, shortcuts a bit better. This is a huge learning curve from the original one. The original one, there are quite a few glitches with each different version of it. Between PlayStation, 
PC and the PlayStation 4 version, there are differences. They break away through or less. Now the crane, you got to do the container. Now there's a material there you can get. You can get down the ladder and cross. Get yourself there. Buy some items if you need to. With those vending machines, you can get material and weapons and accessories. Now, now you got to take these guys out. Now you got to be careful which way you go. You can go backwards accidentally way through and you gotta take this one out to access the cranes there are two boxes here with the first one you can get that item there but I made a mistake lost me about a minute now notice it will say you cannot proceed any further if you're doing any quests are you heading for children playground skip a full motion video now you know skip Now you gotta go to the Chocobo guy. Now you wanna talk to him twice. This is the first time. Now you need to head for Don's mansion. Head in, talk to these guys. Now you head back to the chalkboard guy. Now you say the test. Don't heads or tails. Because the coin is a trick. Now you want to head for Honeybee Inn. Don't know what I did there, and that's go to Madame M. Now you head back to Madame M. Now, with this, you can do the Shiva materia. This is a mistake I made because I got Aerith on my side as well. I'm much stronger to take on. Shiva. Back to Madame M. Now the mistake I made here is that there's a materia shop next by. I should have bought some HP pluses. Now you want to pick the two thousand gil. You gotta keep, you know, two thousand gil. Because you can go to this Coliseum. Now you got four fights here. Go in here, talk to him. That will trigger the event with a big fight. 
heal yourself. Save before you start. These ones are easy, just use Punisher Mold. These guys now, Punisher Mold easy. Totally easy. You can push them all together if you wanted to on the floor. Yourself again, and you can buy items here. <coughs> Equip summons. Oh, for cutters. Now heal yourself and save because now you got boss fight. Now you got Hell House to defeat. I cut this pretty close. Cause a few times I nearly died in this fight. A cloud. You, you with some of these bosses, you gotta use a summon to speed things up. I gotta be careful. Sometimes it will use lightning or magic. Now, when it's flying, you want to knock off Punisher mode and just run around until it lands. So watch the colour of the windows, it will tell you whether it's lightning, earth or something like that. Run around, now I just, uh, that's how close I got to it. Nearly lost cloud there. Notice the windows were red there, that's fire. Now he flies again, he's but does it about four or five times. That's close. That's Hell House out of the way. Now you head back to Madame M. Now you got a second chance to do the Materia Man here. This is a mistake I made. Estimate I lost about two minutes here. Now you head to the Anibi Inn. No you don't, you head for the mansion. No you go to, no you go to the gym. I made a mistake, it's gotta go to the gym. This will trigger the event with Madame M and you gotta win the squats. Because what will happen, it will show you a few times and then it will go invisible. As long as you keep the rhythm the same time, you will win this. Now Johnny should come out. Go to Madame M. Johnny, now you will go back to Dawn's mansion, talk to the men. Now you got once you talk to these men, you got to head to a Honeybee Inn. Just for the earth. Don't 
Talk to the guy at the counter and head for the back room. And there's a ribbon game here. After that, you just head back to Dawn's mansion. Skip all the full motion video sequences here. Once you've done this, button mashing. This is going to be fun getting all the clouds dresses with that bit. Now I gotta go back to the material mi merchant because I should have done this with Madame M. Save me a lot of time. HP plus is what you're gonna need. We're gonna have to work on this a bit more. Because the manual system on this is a bit messy with this prototype run. Now we head for Don Mansion, head for the stairs. Now I should have picked up an item by you on the ground floor and sold it. It's a Fury Ring uh, which I would never use anyway. There's an item you, you can get while you're waiting. There's a vending machine there if you want to get something. Save. And now you're ready for the boss fight with Raps. Take these guys out. Level up, Tifa's metal gloves. Now you got the boss fight with the raps. Now it depends which one you pick, you, the girls. They have different combinations. Now you can use magic, punisher mode. This one will be quite easy. Now this maze is going to be like a memory game once you finish wraps. See how close I'm cutting it with cloud with this? when you defeated them. Now for the sewers. Now you go, this is memory game. Some of them you can bypass, some of them you got to, where there's a ladder, you got to defeat that boss. Get that item, go up. I should have done this with wraps or a bit later on. For the train station. See yourself. You can press the PlayStation Center button. Now, with this one, you go watch. There's a room here. You got to pull that lever. And you want to go back on the right hand side here. Yeah. There's a gate there with a on the right hand side there's a ladder and you need to go down and get the key. If you go the other side you will lost a few seconds here. This is quite easy but this section. All you have to do is go follow the left hand side. I really do need to work with the menuing system on this. Down you gotta fight these to get under the gate. Cross. Forgot there was a material there. Down. Go fight these. Up the ladder. Pull the pull the lever. Go cross. Now you have full motion video sequence. You can skip. Now you need to head up. Do yourself again. Now we should be close to the train station. Now 
Now we need to do the bunny game with Tifa and Aerith. This is going to be fun trying to get this ribbon right with this. Head back, pull a lever. Now these you gotta take out. Now two of them will pop up on the top here. Take those out. Go down the ladder. Take all you gotta take all these to get access to the ladder on the other side. You gotta take these out. There's a full motion video sequence after that, you're just gonna escape. Now we at the train station. Be yourself. Now the easier way with this, the carriages will have a light by the door and there's some with three wagons stuck on each other. Now it's just a memory game of um gotta take those three up there, walk them across, go through this shed. Go through that wagon. Now you you will have to take these up up the three wagons. Up again. You drop here. Open the shed. Everyone go to the top. Take this one out. Head towards the wagons on your left hand side. There should be a few more once as you wait by this one until the green light comes on. Ah, uh, red light on. Go through this carriage. Carriage will lift up. Left hand side. You want to make your way to the right hand side. The shed. Now you want to go through that door, make your way to the left hand side of the other building. Through all the doors. Down the stairs, up, across, down, up. Heal yourself and save. Now you got a boss fight. You can use magic and attacks with this one. This one's a little bit more harder than the others we have. Now we will move around with this one. So we've got to be prepared for it. He moves around all the time. That's him finished. Now you've got two choices. You can go ahead back out and heal yourself that way, or you can head down left hand right through all the sheds. Now you will find a control panel and you need to switch that down to bring the carriage down. Down the left hand side through it all. There's a bench there you can heal. That's a mistake I made. Lost by a few seconds here. Got to pull the turntable now. There's some more on you that you got to fight. Some of the ghosts will work with attacks. Some of them might not work with attacks. You got to use magic. Now with the trains, you got to push two of them forward. Could go on the top here. Make your way around. There's another one. You got to push out forward. You can see where you gotta go with the wagons because there will be a red light showing you where to go. Up here, down, move this train and you will get across now, down, here yourself. Now there should be, this is a front level boss now. Now we will keep moving around. 
and he'd be in the air he's the best use of magic and the summon I'll keep an eye on him get his stagger breaks with him oh, you should try to get it don't bother hitting the wheels hit them and occasionally you might have to destroy one of those wheels see how close I am with the cloud you gotta keep an eye on your health when you're doing this and this is easy mode I'll set it down now for the pillar now when you get to the next chapter it will automatically heal you now we really do need to work with this manuring system the only t ones you need to do you are uh, these guys now try and take them out with just these should be easy with punisher mode now we head for the pillar now keep now word of warning keep an eye on cloud's health because he'd be on his own get some items you need eh? save Some of them steps you can run through. Some of them you gotta take these guys to proceed. So be barriers in your way. There's some of them on the back. So you gotta watch your path. Keep an eye on that cloud's health until you get Tifa. Now if you just got head for seven heaven. Now so when you skip for motion video sequence, you're carrying the child. Now make your way to seven heaven. Go through the door, talk to Moline, cut the for motion video sequence, there's another one by here. No Tifa's with you. Head up the stairs. Take these out. Yeah. Now with the heli man, do not use Punisher mode. Use the other mode. Head up. Gotta fight doors to get up to the next level. Gotta fight those out to get through that bridge. You know when you're near the top is when you see Jesse. And you get up the next level and you heal yourself and save. Now renome rules. This is easy. It's with a helicopter you gotta use lightning. See how close I am with cloud? Use lightning with the helicopter.
Sama Sama Chapia Now you're gonna head to sector seven. All the menu in you. Now some of them give extra slots. Save. Now we're gonna head to sector five. It's quite easy, just run straight through. Don't bother even taking any monsters. Straight through, run. Yeah, then you go through Walmart. Now you need to head towards the right hand side. Just straight run here. Yeah. You're heading for Aeris House. How's it get in? You get a full motion video sequence, you need to head up to the next room, skip, head back out. I need to talk to Barrett. Head back to sector seven. Now sometimes he will have new items, so it's worth, and there's only some items you can get you. Now you head towards, there's a path on your left hand side which you need to take. Down here, but this path will be slightly changed. Need to take those out. Get through the ladder. Take those out. Down the ladders. It's all the same setup. But now you need to tread for the left hand side. Go through, yeah. Pick up an item. And you need to take these guys out. So one let you through the tunnel. Got to take. You can just run past those when you see those. No, you got to take that one out. You got to take the cutter out to get access to the ladder. Use punisher mode and just let the other guys take them down the ladder. Now you got the goons after this. Needs to take them out. Keep to the left hand side. That's a mistake I made here. Gotta take those out. Gotta take all these goons out. Up the ladder. Take those out to access the ladder. Down the ladder, up the other one. Keep on going up. You can heal yourself here and you can buy some items. Should have kept with Tifa, Ryan Glove, wasted a lot of time, many in here. Right now we're going back to Sector 7. I go work with the shortcuts on that. 
I got too many items now. I never use. Talk to this guy and get items. Now you want magic bracelet, I will give you four slots. I should put, put as many HP pluses as you can on Barrett. That's a mistake I made there. Down here. This is a new section that was out of the original, not on the original one. Head down. Head up, sorry. Look right there. Don't bother talking to her. Now you're gonna go through here slowly and then don't bother talking to the cat, just head for the hole. There's full motion video sequence, you gotta skip here. Push that down. Now head for the hole. Don't bother talking to the cat. Now head down. For motion video, now we are in control of Barrett. This section is quite easy to do. Because all you're doing is running past there, take these guys out and take them through rocks. You gotta take these out. I need to work on the menuing system. Really do. Take these guys out. After once you finish these, go up the ladder. Keep an eye on bar itself. Go up the ladder. Now take out that right arm off that thing and take those guys out. Now you get some mega potions. Take these guys up. Up the ladder. Cross. Just run through this section once you op open this barrier. Take these guys out. Head towards the fan. Take those guys out. Up the ladder with the. Just run through this section completely. Head up to the top. Take out that. Skip the full motion video and then follow Tifa. Now you want to take out the middle one of these fans that will allow you through. You can target some of those items with the fan there. Now I think the biggest mistake I need here, I shouldn't have never needed the items here. Now head up until you get the cutters. Gotta take those out to get the next level. Down the ladder. Now keep on going up. Heal and save. Buy items here. Save. Now for the next boss fight.
got to take all these guys out skip the full motion video and then you're ready for the boss fight you got to take all these guys out just use Barra just go around slowly targeting one at a time use um, death blows or not now this is the level boss now you get Tifa up the top now when you see that stairs that's your cue to use Tifa now you wanna target unknown enemy and faithful and failed experiment sorry failed experiment you want to target don't worry about the others too much it's failed experiment you want to target this will end the battle a lot sooner rather than taking all the others out I don't know if I can summon on this. Pretty close though. So. Oh, I don't I don't think you can summon it here. Yes you can. But by the time it comes up to the gauge probably finish him off finish him off before I can just use the summon right target the wall skip full motion video now head back out skip full motion video and just head for sector 5 now you will be automatically healed because you're going to edit in the next section. It's doing exactly the same as the original Final Fantasy 7. Now you head back to Sector 5 on Wall Street. And you go for Don's Mansion. Don't think I needed to pick up material up. Now you can go to the Moodle Man. Skip that. Now you can go to the Moodle and change your medals. You know, I haven't got. Go for the medals now. Get some items this way. You don't you use money. I should have really left it wait a while until I get one of the uh, arts with like Barrett and that. Would help me a lot. Save. Now we're gonna head for Wall Street in Sector 5. Straightforward run right now. The only thing is, you will have. The truck will guide you, will stop you, you can't skip this. Because there's a quest. You have about four parts of the game where you have quests. We don't need that. We're just heading for Wall Street, Sector 5. Just run, don't bother taking any monsters. And you're heading for Don's mansion. Made a bit of boob there. That's about a minute. Now go in here. There's a fury ring. Go past there. 
You see it there, there's a few we made. Should have had that early on the first time I went here. Let me go through Don's room. Look at this guy. Film and motion video sequences you gotta skip. And you gotta head down. But I gotta go now. Let's go for that wall that wraps me. I wrapped the rubble there. Now the path slightly changed here. You gotta do this fight to access the ladder. ladder. Use punish a break. Up the ladder. Through here. Down. Now you're looking for the gate there. Up cross. Got to take those out to access the ladder. These are a lot harder than the first time you went. Bean, sorry. He's punish them all down. Down across. Take them there. Take this one out up the ladder. Straight through here. Now there's a bit of dialogue I have skipped by getting that key earlier. Through that door. Now you will go past the railing and there's open space. You need to take these guys down. And there's a door you need to go through. But to open that door you got to take these guys down. Another vending machine. I need to work out all the the men who went on this and what I need, what I don't need. This is gonna be make or break of it. Steel material, I don't think we need to use on this. You bypass one lot and you've got to take this lot out to access the ladder. When you see that L shape, you're going to go for the next lot. Right now, Q is the ladder up the ladder. Item here. Now you go follow this guy. Quite easy. But you got to take every one of them out to access the next level. Same here, gotta take them out. I didn't need to, to pick up that material. To follow him again through these doors. Keep an eye on Cloud's health. No, it's a cloud, is a frog. I don't think stats on this work as tall well because you don't get, get poison or an ass or thing, you only get toad, luckily. Take these guys out. If you can target the one that we need, or the bearer. Now we're going the wrong way. I lost about a minute there. Now we, you 
we drop down you gotta take these guys down before you can access the door use the stagger break now you've run up to him and then he's gonna run back down and it's gonna go straight up now this is a final fight with him and he's got I think he's got three more friends with him but if you target them don't think you have to do with the others because he's the main boss just follow him head back up now luckily you will not have to fight any boss any monsters this section I'd be heading back to that door but don't go through that door head back heal yourself save because then you got the boss fight and upgrade your weapons that magic bangle will give you four slots so we can have about nine slots in the game I think that's the amount about max you can have save now for the boss fight there's a full motion video skip it use limit breaks and punisher mode Now you got to remember the sequence here. Just target him. Targeting him is a problem. Don't bother ta targeting his tail or that. Just target the mind boy. Notice I'm targeting him with the door. should be able to use summon now we got summon I might finish this before the summon bar will trigger keep our eye on clouds help now summon oh I just summon him and I defeated him before the summon could do now you're going up here now this is the last point where you can do anything like leveling up or not, if you wanted to because I'm speed running I'm not going to do that now the mistake I made you I should have gone up the wall and there's a healing point or I should trigger the next I should have kept um, Tifa with the iron glove. They are better weapons, but for the speed run, I'm not going to look for them. Now, this is a mistake I made. Cost me a minute. Up the wall, yeah, this is it. This is your point of no return. Now I actually have forgot you got to, it will automatically heal you when you get to the next chapter. Now just head past. You can't skip the dialogue with this guy. Head down, up the ladder. Now these guys 
shouldn't use punisher mode, you should use the other mode because you cannot attack them that easy up up in the next one and we should have some year do not, uh, the mistake I made, I put punisher mode on, I should use normal mode because you can jump up in the air now I turn the off, punisher mode off you can use magic but I don't use magic in case I need to heal myself or do something stupid items are pretty much useless compared to ma healing magic up the ladder Now you're going to use the guns now. Now you see a triangle when you need to fire the guns. Up. Cross. Go fight these guys. Keep an eye on your health now. Skip a full motion video sequence. Heal yourself. up here now you're gonna fight these guys and make sure they do not use punisher mode on the heli guys use magic on the heli guys the last officer I think don't know if you can run it, no you can't run this section because there's a ladder you need to go up take out these heli guys Tifa has got 90% save here and you get items here now you want to be careful with this section of the game because I've had three times it's crashed on me up the stairs use the gun up here take these guys out Now up here again. Take these guys out. Now you want to go to the right hand side up the steps now. Now you want to save you because this is where it crashed on me three times with this fight here. Use magic on this one. I think he's got barrier, some sort of barrier. Now, when you get up the ladder, few ladders, you want to save it. to get up here save it we'll go up here use the gun again twice here
Now you gotta take these guys out. Do not use Punisher mode. Use magic if you wanna. Now the annoying thing with this game is that it's always cloud. You can't switch to another character if you've got low MP. You gotta do it every time of the battle by using the directional buttons. Now with this one, what you should do when you skip a full motion video, hold the run button and run past. You save a lot of mucking around with this bit. head down there's t three of them here that you got to take down before you can access the ladder straight ahead of you use magic or Keep an eye on the cloud self. That was another one after this. Now you can use magic, that's him down. I oh, shouldn't bother with those. Oh, of course, you've got a few more up here now. You want to heal yourself now before you get up that ladder because you got another couple of guys up here. I head up that ladder. Heli guys or something like that. Use magic. Do not use Punisher mode. No, I shouldn't have seen you. I should have gone to the right hand side. I made a mess up of uh, what items I need. I've had F to take down, work around. Are we heading up now? You gotta shoot the gun twice here before you get to the boss fight. Now we will be on your right hand side, you need to use magic. Use magic, so until you get about quarter then, then you should be now on the deck, on the floor. Now you can use punish mode and all that. Summon. You got an extra member with summon there, so it's four. Remember, stagger break. Now be careful with the laser. Keep an eye on your health. You summon. Don't bother with severing early. I might take this out before. Cloud, notice that cloud is gone. So after reviving. 
keep eye on your health with this boss fight. Now you're automatically healed. Skip full motion video sequence. Now you're gonna head down. Keep on heading down. 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 Now you're looking for a crate. You you want to head left, down, up on this bridge, skip a full motion video sequence. Now you got to take these guys down with punisher mode. Now head, take these guys down. Now head in. Open the gates, take these guys down. Head to these guys. I shouldn't bother menuing you. Force thrust is the one you need to equip. Don't bother with bust the move or whatever it is. Take all these guys out before, before you can get access to the shutter. Keep on going through you. Use magic on those right ones. Keep an eye on your health. Now we have be he after this we should be heading towards the main entrance of Shindra HQ. Up the stairs. There are no items here. Just head towards the booth there. Wait till Tifa. Up the stairs, use the lift. Now you want to head to the doors here, use art. Now you go with Tifa now. Do all the swinging bits with her. Now there's a 2000 guild treasure box on your left hand side. I head towards that car, jump on it, and then up. Work your way around. Now remember when you get to the end, press circle to get off. This bit is so time consuming. Keep swinging. Now you got triangle button to press. You gotta get Simon just right. Get the key up these stairs. Open the door. Left. Now you got two fights here. That's the first. Back into the left. Skip a full motion video sequence. Fight them. Into the left. Skip. Now you want to head towards the Harogam. Put your card there. And you want to head left where Cloud is. Open the door, head right, up to the stairs, skip a full motion video sequence, head in here, 
head towards the back. Now wait, you gotta wait to you until all the promotion video sequence of the war. There's five of them. Wait for the door to open. Go through it. Head towards the back. There you go. Wait to you again. Now head towards the door, and it's over. And you see the Shinra logo, head towards the door. Skip this. Head towards the back, use the key. Up here, get in here. Skip. Get up, put the key card there. Now when you see the guy in front of you, skip, because then you go straight to the library. When you skip, head straight out, turn right, down here, turn right, up to the ladders, stairways. Go through here, skip the full motion video sequence, turn right. Up here, go up here, talk to this guy. Now you got the simulator. You gotta do this. Now you gotta take these cutters out. You can use Punisher mode and thrust on them but the only thing with thrust they can hit the wrong item now once you've done this there's a booth you can get items got a mega potion head out and he will give you the key to sector 4 whatever you do do not use the stairs use the lift now I shouldn't have talked to him because there's nothing I want from him except those two Right, get your, get your items. I made a mess of this. So the next one I do, I probably do it, probably twelve hours or eleven and a half. Head down, skip the full motion video sequence. I'm gonna save it here. head back skip full motion video now you're heading for the left now you need to select floor 64 now head for the toilets you cannot skip this bit because it's actually generated by the PlayStation 4 itself. Head in your head for the one on the right, left hand corner. Make sure you use a triangle button to access the grill. Now there is item in this ventilating duct in but it's not worth the time involved turn right here turn left press triangle to activate the conference then skip the full motion video sequence get out of the toilet head out Skip a full motion video sequence with Hojo. 
head up here. You can heat yourself there if you wanna. Keep an eye out for those benches, they are a lifesaver. No, you got three fights here. Now for this one. Just use Punisher and Thrust. Now we will bring some more of these. This is the first one. There should be another one after this. Where he spawns enemies. Now I should have added on cloud. Now you can summon. This will help the battle a bit because we've got a fourth member. Now spawns the monsters again. Keep an eye on your health. I should finish this off for us, nearly. Now you want to heal yourself. Don't do what I did you. After I'd done the weapons. Heal myself. I shouldn't have healed myself there. There's a nice little bench by the door that you can save yourself some items. There's a bench here on your right hand side. None. You've got two fights here. These are easy. The right gear ones, you want to use magic on them. Now you got these guys now. There are four of them. Unless you take them all out. There's two of them now running around now. Which you've got to take out. Skip a full motion video. Now you're heading up. Now head towards the left with cloud. This stays on mold. Now you'll be transported into Eris's room. Now you want to talk to Eris twice. Now I'm on to skip. Now you want to head back to that. Center left. Heal yourself. Head towards the center left. Now you got fight here. Yeah. Just use punisher mode. Up the stairs. Heal yourself there, and you got items here. Head back to the central left. Now you got to work your way around to the center pillar there. Skip a full motion video sequence. 
Now you go work your way around, pull that lever, go across, down, down, down. Work your way around. I don't think I needed to take those guys, I should have kept on walking. I shouldn't have picked that right, that might be wasted about a few seconds here. That is a um, poison material. These are got to take out. Head up. Now press triangle with red 13 to get across. Cross. Take these. Now you need to go through this. Now there are three fights here. This is the first fight. Use Punisher mode a magic. Now you got that one machine boss by the side there. He's gonna come out next. he's gonna come out these guys gonna come out next these monsters now we've got the machine boss keep an eye on your health because you only got Barrett and Cloud here and you got red 13 helping you a bit but not much head through the door Now head up. Now that's Cloud's better weapon now. Twin Sync. This is a better weapon for Cloud. So it's worth re equipping it. Because I've got five slots and I can put extra HP on. No, it's at level 29 at this point of the game. Maximum level you can get on this game is level 50. Now you need to head towards the PHS system by there. Talk to Tifa and Aerith for the next bit. Now head up the stairs. Now pull that lever. Talk to the PHS system. This item there you can get. It's the ether. Talk to Cloud. No, you need to make your way to the center column. Switch parties. Head over, take this guy out, and you need to pull the lever to get the draw bridge across. Now he has some sort of force field or something with this guy, he's not that easy to take out. I pull the lever. Draw bridge across. Now you want to push pull number three with using triangle button. Now there's a PHS talk to Tifa. Number pull that lever, open the gate. Take these guys down. Go through the door on your right hand side. Work your way through, don't worry about that one. When you get through this door, 
you got to take monsters out. Best bit with this, get in the corner with Tifa, the monsters will come to you. You need to fight those to get through. You need to take this one out and head to the room on the right hand side and you need to pull the lever. Now head up. Go across the pipes. You gotta fight these to access the rolling doors. Head out. And you're gonna make your way towards these guys. You gotta take these guys out to access the ladder. Keep eye on your health. Head up the ladder now. Heal yourself. Now we've got another slot. Now the silver staff has got the best one for magic. Head up the ladder, head for the pea chest. Lever there and then the head for the pea chest. Talk to Cloud. Now what you wanna do now is pull the lever on number two. Got extra slots. I got the same with Bart's machine gun. Go across, go through to heal yourself, buy items. See, they do a certain amount of mega potions get cheap, others you get 700. So go for the cheap ones first and then go for the dear ones. Nice Cloud's face there if you wait by the door. Looks like low res. Now you gotta take this one out. You can use uh, Punisher mode on thrust mode. Now head for the what door at your right hand side. Heal yourself. Now these will pop up at random. You gotta probably memorize the pattern with this. But use the punisher mode to do it. That's it, go through the door. Now head up. They're going to a hospital ring near. 
skip a full motion video sequence, T target that guy. Now heal yourself. Now get clouds to take that guy out. Now get yourself in the corner and just use punisher mode to finish these off quickly. Head out. Now you're looking for the PHS box by you. Heal. Go down. Pull a sleever with red 13. Go to PHS box. Take these guys down. Quickly go to that, talk to Tifa to help Red 13. Take these guys down to access the ladder. Let's go red 13. Head down. Get red 13 to open that lever. The mistake I made you, I should go into the lift first. Then you got to pull that lever to open the drawbridge. Now watch out you got some monsters here. Pull lever four. Go to the PHS system box. Go through the door. Make your way back. Go for that door. Pull the lever here. Go through there. Go up. Now you have a monster bottle. This is part one. Take it down now. Now he goes to Tifa and Aerith. Now this is where I made a mistake. I didn't keep an eye on Aerith and Tifa's health. Don't worry, you get to retry that battle from last battle. Take this guy down. Keep eye on your health. Oh, we shouldn't have used limit break there with Tifa. No, it should be over now in a few minutes. Now it either goes two ways, clockwise and anti-clockwise. Now make your way to the left. Now pull the lever. Head back towards that left. Go to the center console. Turn right here. Open the thing. Now, everyone's asking you, just say yes because it's pointless just going all the way back because it takes you too long. I 
we head up here to the president's floor, floor 70. We want to turn right here, heal, buy whatever items you need, and save it. Upgrade your weapons. Save. And for the final battles. You skip this guy. Now you got Genova. Tackle the main center of one first. About a quarter of the way to the limit bar. Now you get tentacles. And you get halfway now. You're gonna get tentacles. Right, now you need to target the tentacles first. Use force for us to take them out. And use punish mode. Use summon. First time we use Chocomog. Keep your eye on the health of the cloud. Genova. Now you take him down for a bit here and now we will move. Move there. Now head out, heal yourself. Save if you want to. Because now you got to go up the top here. Instead of skip it. Now you got to fight. With Rufus now. Take out the dog first. Use punisher mode and thrust attacks. Take out that dog. When when you get halfway with the dog, Rufus will throw up some ca coins. Keep eye on Cloud's health with this battle. eye on his health. That's Rufus done. 
Now for the final boss. This one is the hardest one because you have three protecting barriers. But I made a, such a mess of this. It took me at least half an hour to do it. Now with this battle you want to keep eye on your health with this. Now the mistake I made was calling someone too early. That was my biggest mistake, yeah. Now you can see why I need so many items. Magic is not that good with Barry. I should have really made magic with Aerith. I should have taken those bodies out and then do the summon. Now what buggers me up with this, when you take two of them out, one of them will always sneak behind this guy. So what you need to do is have F on and take an attack at that barrier one. It's pointless trying to use the uh, main attacks on the main body when that shield's protecting. Keep eye on his health all the time. This was the most difficult boss in the entire speed run of this. Now, what I should have done is switch to Aerith and then use Barret's limit on it. I use the pillar as shelter. It's not easy. Because this one boss has cost me at least. Half an hour, I would have had this under 12 hours if it weren't for this boss. Now I'm using Tifa to defeat. Now you gotta take out. There's so much with this, you can't take it out easy. I should have used summon now. The only thing with this game is it can't use two summons on the same boss. Which is something which I don't like with this remake. With the original one, any bosses you could have summon one and then summon another one. So there's enough HP or that the limit break with it goes up again. I should have taken out the wheels. That's my biggest mistake. Oh, that's another bit of it gone. Now I realize my mistake. I should have taken out the wheels. Because I think there's about four of them, or f six, I can't remember.
Now I just lost her Barret, so I gotta use Aerith to revive Barret using Phoenix Downs. I think if you take it from the behind, it does more damage. take those wheels out stop it moving around but be careful of its lasers that's gonna be nasty now I just keep running around into with Aerif until I can revive Barret now until you get the limit and then revive Barret switch then back to Barret now I'm running out of ideas now remember with her she had got healing wind use it It's almost still about quarter there. You gotta target those wheels. I think what I should have done is have air, put I have it on. Now I've got to revive Barrett again. Should target the wheels. This is a horrible boss. I really should have had like another summon I could use but might change the rules the next time. But I don't think this game will allow you to summon two summons with the same boss. out ideas now it's finishing now now be careful of those flames Now I'm going to play on slow motion now. This is his boss. Now I'm not going to do the final boss of this game. Because there's a video stop. And this is where Square Enix do not want you to record any further than this point. Because I want you to buy the game so you can see the final boss for yourself. <laughs> 